Good morning. We read these often quoted and sung words in the fourth chapter of Paul's letter to Philippians in verse 19. And my God will meet all of your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Today on 10 with Tom, we are talking about instant gratification and how it leads to long-term misery. You see, God promised to supply our need, but not our greed. When we get into debt by buying things that we shouldn't, or things that we don't need, we can't, nor should we, expect God to bail us out. No responsible parent would do that. And God is a responsible parent. He gives us choices, and he points out the consequences of our choices. But ultimately, we have to decide what path we're going to take. God told Adam and Eve not to eat the forbidden fruit. But then Satan came along and said, God doesn't really mean what he said. You can do what you want, and it will be okay. Does that sound familiar? Because advertisers do the exact same thing. One furniture company will offer a house full of furniture with no monthly payments for two years. The question, if you can't afford it now, how will you pay for it two years from now? It's time to get out of debt, not deeper into it. And the Bible shows us how. First, as followers of Christ, Colossians chapter 3, verse 5 says, Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Yeah, I read that right. Don't be greedy for the things of this world, because greed is is a form of idolatry. Is your stuff your God? Instead of craving things that you don't need, enjoy the things that you have. Now, I don't know if this applies to you, but I know that I'm talking to myself here. I have way too much stuff that I don't need. And I'm learning to spend less on stuff than I used to. But I've still got a way to go. Secondly, if you aren't tithing, start now. You will be switching from the world's faltering economy to God's fail-safe economy. When we tithe, God promises to protect our interests and to bless us with what we need. In Malachi chapter 3, verses 8 through 12, we read these words. Will a mere mortal rob God, yet... You rob me. But you ask, how are we robbing you? In tithes and offerings. You are under a curse, your whole nation, because you are robbing me. Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. I will prevent pests from devouring your crops, and the vines in your field will not drop their fruit before it is ripe, says the Lord Almighty. Then all the nations will call you blessed, for yours will be a delightful land, says the Lord Almighty. Now some will argue that these verses have nothing to do with us today that they are time-specific. But I can tell you from my own experience, as I have tithed, God has honored his promise. I haven't always had everything that I wanted, but I have always had what I needed. The third thing, before you go shopping, try praying. Ask God about what you need and then wait for him to respond. Yeah, I see a lot of people who live like this. People who go out to shop 
And they come home with not what they wanted, but with what other people needed. Operation Christmas Child and our food pantry are great examples of this. People are always walking into the church office with toys, with school supplies, with uh, food for the food pantry, things they just happened to see as they were out looking for something else and thought, oh, I need to get these for somebody who needs them. Is there room for God to add or to revise your shopping list? Also, I don't remember the specifics of what I learned in class in college, but one lesson has stayed with me forever. And while it happened on campus, it was not in a college class. One night, one of our college fellowship leaders was talking about being a good steward of all that God has entrusted to us. And he said something that I've never forgotten. Unless you have a specific item that you need to purchase, don't take money or credit cards with you when you spend a day shopping. Now, I'm sure many of you are thinking about that and thinking to yourselves, well, that's just stupid. How will I pay for what I want? But then he told us, if you see something that you want to buy, consider whether or not it's worth it to go home and to get your money and then come back to get the item. If it's not worth the extra time and effort, then you really don't need it. That was some great advice. Great advice that has stuck with me a long time and I've been able to put that into practice and encourage others to do the same. Finally, number four, start giving away some of what you have. Proverbs 11 verses 24 and 25 says, one person gives freely, yet gains even more. Another withholds unduly, but comes to poverty. A generous person will prosper, and whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. It is possible to give away and become richer. It's also possible to hold on to things so tightly that you lose them. The one who refreshes will be refreshed. And that is something that we can be doing right now in the aftermath of Hurricane Ian. We can be refreshing those in need. So are we providing refreshment to those in need right now? Look for the opportunities. They are in abundance at this time. You know, there are many people who live by the motto, I want it all, and I want it now. Don't be that guy. Obey God. Be patient and watch what happens. And that's the word for you today. Now, parents of middle schoolers, we want to remind you uh, that there is no Wild Wednesday program for middle schoolers uh, this week, October the 12th, and next Wednesday, October the 19th. So Wild Wednesdays will resume on October the 26th. Also, we want to invite all of you out there to join us this Sunday for Hunger Fight from 2 to 4 p.m. at the Village Church. If you don't know about Hunger Fight, you need to check them out. Uh, but Hunger Fight is an organization that um, packs meals and, and distributes them to folks uh, all over the place. Uh, started locally here in North Florida, and they've expanded their ministry many times over. Uh, God is blessing them as they serve, and we're, we're so fortunate to be able to work with them every year. And so this Sunday, we're going to be packing about 15,000 meals. And so we hope you'll be a part of it. Uh, one last thing. Um, if you've got some time this Wednesday, Tokoy Creek High School is still looking for proctors for the PSAT exams. And so if you've got some time next Wednesday, I think it's from 9 until 1.15, please give Amanda Lewis a call at Tokoy Creek High School. The number there is 904-547-4293. I know they would really appreciate your help. So have a great week, church, and I'll see you on Friday with another word for you today.